Whew, hey friends, I'm so glad I'm out of that hot sun and in this nice cool ocean water. I'm down here exploring and it is beautiful. There are so many things to see here. I'm looking around and I haven't seen any animals yet, but I am seeing really cool plants. Did you know plants could grow underwater and live underwater? It's awesome. I'm going to tell you all about a couple of different plants that I see. All right, so the first type of plant I see down here is one that you might be familiar with. It's seaweed. Have you ever seen seaweed before? Yeah, seaweed grows underwater at the seashore. And seaweed has these little pods on its leaves called air bladders. Can you say that? Yeah, air bladders, that's a fancy science term, right? And the air bladders fill with air and make it so the seaweed can float underwater. And guess what? We learned that plants have roots, seaweed doesn't. It has suckers that suck to rocks where they grow. And as the ocean moves and the tide changes, the seaweed just floats all throughout the water. Another type of plant I see down here is seagrass. Yeah, grass, just like the kind that grows in our yard, except it grows in the sea. Seagrass is really important for a couple of different reasons. It's important because Lots of animals like crabs and lobsters love to eat seagrass, but it's also important because it protects other animals like fish from predators or things that want to eat them. Another reason why seagrass is important is because it gives off pollen. Remember talking about pollen when we talked about bees? It gives off pollen so that other plants in the sea can grow. Okay, so I know you're probably wondering when I'm going to talk about that beautiful branch-like plant that's below me, the super colorful plant-looking thing. Well, that's called coral, a coral reef. But guess what? Coral is actually not a plant. Coral is actually an animal. The branch part that you see that we call coral is actually made up of a ton of tiny, teeny animals called polyps. Click the video beside me to hear more about the coral and the coral reef. 